We are here to discuss about the entrepreneurs. Today, I am going to discuss about the different entrepreneurs of India to make an overall idea about the entrepreneur. So, in this particular picture, you are observing there are different entrepreneurs of India. Look at from the Mukesh Salmani, okay, from Reliance, Radhan Tata from Tata Industries, okay. Then Narayan Murthy from Infosys, then Imagebazaar.com is a very popular face, Tandik Mohesri. Then Bhavi Sagarbal from Ola K, is a PAT owner, is the most popular and young dynamic face entrepreneur, Riti Sagarbal, Poyuru. You know, to have a brief idea or lucid idea about the entrepreneur and just having this particular picture to make an idea about the entrepreneur. So, what is the definition of entrepreneur? Just see what is the definition. Before telling about the entrepreneur, entrepreneur is a person who organizes different kind of resources for the purpose of serving or for the purpose of delivering goods and services with an unsettled price by taking certain amount of risk. He is the innovator. He is the risk taker. He comes with the latest technology. That is the entrepreneur. We will take the definition of entrepreneur is defined as, as an person who purchases the means of production for combination into marketable products with a view to selling it at uncertain price in the future. He conceived of an entrepreneur as a risk taker as a of production. He is a risk taker. Without taking risk, there is no entrepreneur. Whoever it may be, that the Tata, Villa, or this OYO group CEO, they are taking the risk. If a risk bearer, which type of risk they are taking, they are taking the calculated risk. So the risk bearer or the agent of different production or factor of production, they are the entrepreneur. So next slide you see, Joseph S. Kumbiter has defined entrepreneur as an innovator. Someone who do the innovation, innovation means what? Coming with the latest technology, application of the knowledge, application of the technique is known as innovation. These are the different forms at which the innovation will take place. So according to Joseph's computer, entrepreneurs are the innovator. Innovator means what? Coming with latest product, new product, new service, new method of production, or new sources of raw material, or venturing towards a new market or a new industry, is can be termed as certain amount of innovation. So, someone who comes with the innovation idea or who is the innovator is known as entrepreneur, either in the form of goods or method of production or opening a new market or conquest of new sources of raw material or carrying of new organization of an industry. In this form, an entrepreneur can come, they venture with the main motto is innovation. So, entrepreneurs should be an innovator. If you take an example of OYO CEO, Ritesh Sagrava, he is coming with latest innovation so that Anybody, the middle class people with a low cost, they can afford the room rent. So that's why you have to come with latest innovations. Take an example of Amazon company. They are the company who are using the internet as a platform for delivering their products. So that's why the innovation must be there to be an entrepreneur. So next is entrepreneurs. See? Entrepreneurship means what? Entrepreneurship is basically a combination of two words. One is enterprise, another one is entrepreneur. The combination of both entrepreneur and enterprise is known as entrepreneurship. And entrepreneurship is a process. It is a continuous process. 
The process of being an enterprise is known as what? Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is the purposeful activity of an individual or a group of associated individuals undertaken to initiate, maintain, or aggrandize profit by production or distribution of economic goods and services. So it is a continued process by which the entrepreneur can collect the raw material, procure the raw material, and ultimately it can make value to the goods and services by providing to its customer. So it is the total process of an enterprise. So entrepreneurship, you can trade the word entrepreneurship, which I already told it is a combination of enterprise and entrepreneur. This specialized group of person who bears this. It is a specialized group of person who bears this. Without taking the risk, there is no entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship must have to be a, must have to take certain amount of risk. Next one is investing and risking of time, money, and efforts. Entrepreneurship, in case of entrepreneurship, they have to devote their time, money, that is finance, as well as their own labor or efforts. Then, Entrepreneurship composed of three basic elements. One is invention, another one is innovation, another one is adaptation. First one is what the three element. Out of three element, the first element is what invention. What do you understand by invention? Invention means something is totally new to the world. It has never been happened, never been known to, known to the people in the world. That is the invention. But it is all. It is has to come. Invasion. Then innovation is nothing but is the application of the skills or knowledge. That is innovation. Adaptation is that you have to implement such innovation is known as adaptation. So entrepreneurship means you have to go for invention, innovation as well as what adaptation. So entrepreneurship, these are the different kind of definition through different kind of definition. We conclude that is uh, the entrepreneurship be a certain amount of risk. And they have to devote certain time, money, and efforts. And the last one is they have to go for inventions, innovation, as well as adaptation. So from the entrepreneurship, whatever may the we may be the author, whoever may be the author, from their point of view, this, these are the conclusions of definitions of entrepreneurs. So entrepreneurship means the process of the entrepreneur. It is an attempt to create value through recognition of business opportunity. It is basically communicative and management function to mobilize financial and material resources. Who has to mobilize? Mobilize means what? Transfer from one place to another place. Whether that is main, whether that is material, whether that is machine, whether that is any kind of scarce resources or financial resources. They have to mobilize from one place to another place. They are one and the process, enter process is known as what? Entrepreneurship. Then enterprise. The outcome of the entrepreneur or entrepreneurship process is known as enterprise. Enterprise means it is some organization. If we talk about Ritu Sagrawal, the organization or the enterprise is what? Oyurum. If we talk about Narad Murti, the enterprise is what? Infosys. If we talk about Ajinji Premsi, his enterprise is Vipro. If we talk about Mahajugarpur, his organization or enterprise is Facebook. If we talk about Jeff Wedges, his enterprise is Amazon. So Amazon or the enterprise here for Jeff Wedges. And Enterprise is nothing but it is the outcome of the entrepreneur. It is the organization. So what is the definition? Entrepreneur is a person who starts of an enterprise. The process of creation is called entrepreneurship. And the entrepreneur is the actor and entrepreneurship is the act. What is that? Entrepreneurship is the act. But who is the actor? It is the entrepreneur. And the outcome of the entrepreneur is nothing but the enterprise. Enterprise is the outcome, entrepreneur is the actor, whereas the action or the act is known as what? Entrepreneurship. Three things are coming. One is entrepreneur, he is the person or he is the actor behind any kind of business. Entrepreneur is the actor, 
entrepreneurship is a process, entrepreneurship is some action. It is the complete action of the entrepreneur that is entrepreneurship. Then enterprise is the complete outcome of the entrepreneur. So that is known as what? Enterprise, entrepreneurship and entrepreneur. Then another definition of enterprise. Enterprise is the business organization that is formed and which provides goods and services, creates jobs, contribute to national income, exports and overall income development. So enterprise can give you the enterprise can give you the goods, services, it can help for boosting of the economy, it can help the economy for creation of the jobs, creation of the employment. That is the charm of what? Enterprise. So this is the basic difference between the entrepreneur and entrepreneurship for you to make understand with a uh, difference between the entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. I already told that entrepreneur is the actor, entrepreneur is a person, whether the entrepreneurship is a process or action, process or act or action of the entrepreneur is known as entrepreneurship. Entrepreneur is a creator, and creation is entrepreneurship, organizer entrepreneur, organization entrepreneurship, innovator entrepreneur, innovation is entrepreneurship, technician entrepreneur, technology entrepreneurship. Initiator entrepreneur, initiative entrepreneurship, decision maker entrepreneur, decision entrepreneurship, planner entrepreneur, planning entrepreneurship, leader entrepreneur, leadership entrepreneurship, motivator entrepreneur, motivation entrepreneurship, programmer entrepreneur, then action is entrepreneurship, action is entrepreneurship, risk taker entrepreneur, whereas risk taking is entrepreneurship. Communicator is the entrepreneur, communication is the entrepreneurship, administrator is the entrepreneur, administration is the entrepreneurship. That is the basic difference between the entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. Now, this is the difference, and most of the exam, this factor question is being asked what is the difference between the entrepreneur and management manager? Could the manager and entrepreneur are the same? It is not. The entrepreneur and manager are not same. Manager is the person who can work day to day life of the organization, who can work in the organization, who can manage inside the organization, is the manager who can go for planning, organizing, directing, coordinating, and controlling aspect of the organization, is the manager who can manage the organization, is the manager. An entrepreneur is a person who with his calculated risk can start his own enterprise with some innovation and sell the product with the unsettled price he is the entrepreneur. Now what is the difference between the entrepreneur and manager? So what is the motive of entrepreneur? The main motive of entrepreneur is to start his business. Entrepreneur start the business whereas manager gives different kind of services. The production manager gives the production services, the marketing manager gives the marketing services, the HR manager gives the HR services. Different manager gives the different kind of services to the organization. He is the, he is the service provider. He gives the service, he rendered the service manager, but entrepreneur starts the enterprise, he is the starter. Then what is the status of entrepreneur? The status of entrepreneur is is the owner is the boss, whereas the manager is manager is simply the employee of the organization. And risk bearing entrepreneur has to bear a certain amount of risk, whereas manager not take any kind of risk. Then the reward for entrepreneur is profit, whereas the reward for manager is all about the salary. Profit which is unlimited for the entrepreneur and for manager the salary is quite fixed every month he has to get fixed amount of salary or if some incentives are there he will get little more than that not an unlimited amount of money he will receive then innovation entrepreneur is the innovator without innovation there is no entrepreneur so manager and entrepreneur the main thing is innovator the entrepreneur is the innovator, whereas 
the manager only executes the plans of the entrepreneur. He has to execute whatever the plans set by the entrepreneur. Then, is there any qualification required? If you talk about Dhirubhai Ambani, he is not having much qualification. If you talk about the Rishesh Agarwal, he is not having that much of quali qualification. Even Bill Gates, he is not having that much of qualification. He is in, uh, he used to sit in the last bench as Bill Gates, Microsoft founder. There is, is there any qualification required? There is no much qualification required for entrepreneur, but to be a manager, you have to purchase distinct qualification. So that is the basic difference between entrepreneur and manager. Manager and entrepreneur this is the basic difference. Okay, from starting of the enterprise, entrepreneur, service dynamic manager, boss, entrepreneur, employee manager, risk bearer, entrepreneur, not taking any kind of risk manager, profit is the unlimited amount of profit he will receive entrepreneur and also faces the losses by the entrepreneur but he is getting, manager is getting fixed amount of salary and entrepreneur is the innovator whereas manager only executes his plans and is there any qualification required for entrepreneur not specific but to be a manager, a like finance manager, HR manager, marketing manager or a production manager you have to for this distinct qualification. That is the basic difference between the entrepreneur and manager. Now, I would like to foresight the difference between the entrepreneur and entrepreneur. We already covered what is who is an entrepreneur, who is an entrepreneur, we already covered. Now, who is an entrepreneur? Pronunciation is both very much important, entrepreneur and entrepreneur. Who is an entrepreneur, first of all? Entrepreneur is a person who always there inside the organization who comes with the latest idea, latest innovation inside the organization who occupies a senior level position who receives the highest amount of salary inside the organization. They are the entrepreneur. Entrepreneur are the inside organization people or employee of the organization who occupies the senior level position who comes with latest innovation, latest idea and an organization of the entrepreneur very much require in the entrepreneur. In case of all the IT company or software company, the requirement of entrepreneur is very much to an entrepreneur. And what is the difference between the entrepreneur and entrepreneur? Who is independent? The entrepreneur is independent. He will not depend upon anybody. But the entrepreneur is dependent upon the decisions of the entrepreneur. So, entrepreneur is an independent person, whereas in, uh, whereas entrepreneur who is an employee, who occupies a senior level position inside the organization, who is a dependent fellow. Who raises the fund? It is the entrepreneur himself raises the fund from different kind of sources, either internal sources or external sources from banks or his own fund or borrowed fund. He can take the money, he can raise the money, but the entrepreneur could not raise any kind of money or fund or finance. Then entrepreneur bears certain amount of risk, but entrepreneur not bears any kind of risk. The risk is attached by the entrepreneurs only, not with the intrapedia. This is not risk is not taken by the intrapedia. Then the entrepreneur can operate outside the business also, but it is the intrapreneur who has to be there inside the organization. This is the basic difference between the entrepreneur and intrapreneur. This is the basic difference. He is an independent person, he is a dependent person. He works, he raises fund himself but entrepreneur not raises any kind of fund. It is the entrepreneur who bears the risk. Entrepreneur not bears any kind of risk. He works outside the organization, the entrepreneur, but entrepreneur can be there inside the organizations only. Now, what are the characteristics required to be an entrepreneur? And most of the studies, what is these are the characteristics found within the entrepreneur. So these are the characteristics of an entrepreneur. First one is risk taker. As I already told you, without taking the risk, you can't be an entrepreneur. In this world, if you want to be an entrepreneur, 
you have to take certain amount of risk. The risk means what? You have to take calculated risk. How much you can bear the risk? How much you can sustain that amount of risk you have to take in an entrepreneur? In this world, your idea can be there. In this world, in your idea can be there in your mind. If it is not capitalized, means you are not taking risk. In order to capitalize your idea, then you have to be a certain amount of risk. Without bothering about the threat, you have to take certain amount of risk. Then only the venture can come. Then only your enterprise can come. Then only you will be treated as an entrepreneur. So for a successful entrepreneur, you have to be a certain amount of risk. You have to take certain amount of calculated risk. Not a not like a gambler. You have to take the risk. You have to take a calculated risk. So that's why the characteristic of entrepreneur is to take risk. He's the risk taker. The entrepreneur is the risk taker. This is the first characteristic of an entrepreneur. Then next one is organizer. It is the resources. Which resources? Natural resources. Which is available outside of the organization. Which is scattered in different kind of places. In the natural resources also there. It is the entrepreneur who understands the value. It is the entrepreneur who gives life to those natural resources by converting those resources into the finished goods. There are different kinds. Man is there, material is there, machine is there, money is there, method is there. Different things are there in different form in different places. It is the entrepreneur who organizes all those resources, whether that is man, metal, machine, money, method. This will be scattered in different places. And it is the entrepreneur who organizes this all the resources, so that's why it is the entrepreneur who is the organizer also. The organizing capability is there with the entrepreneur. So that's why the characteristics is organizer. Next one is innovator. As I told earlier, the innovation. Without innovation, there is no such entrepreneurship. Or there is no such entrepreneur without any kind of innovation. So entrepreneur should be innovate. He has to come with the latest idea latest technology so that something will be valuable, something will be useful to the society or the customer or the nation at a large. So that's why the entrepreneur should be the innovator. Some the innovation according to Joseph Schumpeter already told that innovation will be in different kind of forms either in, in the new goods, new services, new method of production, new market, new industry, new source of raw metal. These are different kind of forms at which the entrepreneur will come as an innovator. So the entrepreneur must be an innovator. Innovator means what? The application of knowledge is known as innovation and someone who applies those knowledge is known as innovator. So entrepreneur must be an innovator. Next one is goal oriented. If the entrepreneur, what are the target? Goal means what? Target. Whatever the target set by the entrepreneur, he tries everything. He put his zeal, will, skill, everything to accomplish the objective. And he sets the objective based upon the market condition. So that's why he is the goal, he is goal oriented. So entrepreneur has to be a goal oriented, target oriented. Then high need for achievement. The entrepreneur should possess the characteristics of high need for achievement. It is the entrepreneur who never satisfied with this small thing. Always the sky is limit. According to the entrepreneur, the sky is the limit. Once a goal is being set, once a target is achieved, then he can try for another high objective. So that once he achieved that kind of high standard, he set another high standard. So that's why it is the entrepreneur who did higher achievements. Next one is foresight. What an ordinary man can't visualize something, it is the entrepreneur who can visualize. He's having the strong visualizer, strong foresightness. He can visualize what would happen in the future scenario of a country, in the future scenario of economy, what should be the thing will come out. So that's why he can visualize. So that's why he's, the, he's having the characteristics of foresight. Next one is technical knowledge. 
being a management student, being an ordinary graduate student, if you are having that kind of knowledge, it will not be helpful for you to be an entrepreneur. Apart from the management skills, you have to possess the technical skills, technical knowledge you have to possess. The chartered account is there. After completion of his chartered account, he wants to start his own TSA company. For that, he must have the knowledge of technical knowledge of how to print the thing, how to decorate the thing, how to stitch the TSA, how to design the TSA. He must have the knowledge. He have to have the knowledge of where to set his plant, where to set up the machinery, how to operate the plant, how to operate the machinery. So apart from the managing skills, managing knowledge, an entrepreneur must have what technical knowledge. Those entrepreneurs who are sound with both managing knowledge or managing skills as well as technical knowledge, they are the good entrepreneur. So all the entrepreneur must have to possess the characteristics of technical knowledge. Then entrepreneur has to have the self-confidence. If people who are the peers, who are the friends, who are the co-entrepreneurs are there, they will discuss him. He should not be discussed with the words of others or family member. He should have the self-confidence inside. Once, even if you can fall thousand times, there is a chances to be success in the one thousand one time. So that should be your motive, motivation, that should be the persistence level one has to maintain within the entrepreneur. So entrepreneur has to possess the self-confidence. Next one, he has to possess the calm. Whatever the opinion of the employee, he should not be biased. You should be see cool and calm while taking any kind of decision inside the organization. So he has to keep his mind calm, like our former Indian captain MSD, MS Dhoni. Like he takes the decision the same way, all the entrepreneur has to take the decision calm. Then focus. Entrepreneur knows what to do, what not to do. He knows what to do, what not to do. He is determined. Even though there are 1000 obstacles will come, he will not bother. He can focus his target. He can put all the jail will skill, all the efforts, all the main power, all the resources to accomplish his objective. He is quite focused in the entrepreneur. Next, customer centric. Why you are selling your product, it is you are selling the product for your customers only. In order to sustain the business market in the long run period, you have to deliver the product according to the need of the customer. You have to, if any kind of product you are found defective, you have to take it back. So that's why you should see how your product will be useful, helpful and beneficial to your customer according to that basis. You have to sell your product, design your product, and you have to price your product according to that basis only. And the main part, part is customer focus because the customer is king in the market, customer is treated as God in the market. So you have to be as an entrepreneur, so be customer focused. Then team player. It is the entrepreneur, he is not an individual, it is his, within the team he works. Whatever the mission he will take, he has to communicate with the others, with his leadership. He has to run his organization within the team. While taking the mission, he will ask the opinions of others also. He is a team player. He is the best role model inside the organization. He is a live example inside the organization. He is a team player and leader in the organization. He is the entrepreneur. We discuss in this particular two slides about the characteristics of an entrepreneur from risk taker, organization, organizer, innovator, goal oriented, high need for achievement, foresight, technical knowledge, self confidence, calm, focus, customer centric, team player. These are the different kind of characteristics we discuss about the entrepreneur. It is not necessary that all the characteristics should be there within the entrepreneur. As the time progresses, this entrepreneur has to do develop those characteristics also. Then we are discussing about the elements of entrepreneur. This is there in your syllabus strictly mentioned in the first unit or first module. 
elements of entrepreneurship. These are the elements. First one is economic and dynamic activity. Economic and dynamic. The first element of entrepreneurship is economic and dynamic. Economic means creation of value of goods and services to the customer. Creation of certain good, goods, customer or services to the customer and it is a dynamic activity or it is a continuous activity. Whatever the activities done by the entrepreneur, it should be continuous. It has to be dynamic. It has to continuous, it has to change and it has to create certain goods and services which can be useful, which can be helpful to the customer. Then innovative activity. This is discussed earlier how the innovation is much more important. Without thinking about the innovation or innovating, there is no such entrepreneur or entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship has to come with the latest idea, latest knowledge, latest innovation, latest change in the business, latest change in the market scenario, latest change in the industry. They have to come with the innovation activity. This is the second active, second element that is innovative activity. Next one is profit potential. The main objective of any kind of entrepreneur is to get profit. Profit is the motivation power for entrepreneur to continue his business. It is the profit which gives the self-confidence to the entrepreneur. It is the profit who makes other stakeholder in the organization, whether that is bankers, whether that is government, whether that is supplier, or any kind of other stakeholder to have a confidence in the organization. So that's why the next element is profit potential. Whatever the business do by the entrepreneur, he should have to get the profit potential. It is the business which is not a social organization. It is not the social motive the business is doing. It is the on profit making only the business are done. So that's why you have to have profit potential in your business. That is, you have to have commercial life in your business. Then management and leadership. In that, in any kind of entrepreneurship, it is the management is required. You need to know what is management. You need to manage everything, whether financing, accounting, man, uh, marketing, HR. All the laws, these all you have to maintain as an entrepreneur and the process of maintaining this come um, as entrepreneurship and you have to have a leadership quality. To be an uh, entrepreneurship, you have to have leadership quality. There are different kind of leaders are, leaderships are there. Some leaders are very much strict, some leaders are participating, some leaders are auto, autocratic, some, some leaders are democratic. That depends upon their way of leading the people. Some people, some leader can work. Everybody like the Narendra Modi. Nobody will like the Hitler. So that depends upon the leadership quality, based upon which all you can carry, you can take forward to your employees. So managing skill required and leadership skill also required. Next one is organization building. You have to build the organization. With different kind of resources, you have to build your organization. You take the main, you take the metal, you take the machine, you have machine money method, and you have to build your organization with the proper human resources. Main is human resources. If the employee are good, employee, if the team, employee team or the workers or the employee are good, then they can take an inefficient organization into efficient organization. So that's why how you are building your organization is important. So that is organization building. Next one is function of risk bearing. The entrepreneurship, in case of entrepreneurship, it must, it must have to take certain amount of risk. It has to pose a certain amount of risk. Is the risk bearing. Any amount of risk, not. It is a calculated risk. If things are going pessimistic, then how much risk, how much loss they can sustain. Based upon the calculation, they have to take the risk. They are the entrepreneur and the process of being enterprise is known as entrepreneurship and they have to do this function of risk dating. Next one is goal oriented. All the entrepreneurship process is goal oriented. 
target oriented whatever the target will set everybody inside the operation the entrepreneur and the whole employee whole team have to work together to accomplish the region accomplish the goal that is goal oriented next risk bearing i already told goal oriented or audit goal then value creation it is the whatever it is not the customer who can assess your product whatever the product you are selling at what price you have to create certain product which can be valuable to the existing customer who can satisfy which can satisfy the need of the customer so that's why you have to create value in your product that is important next this this particular entrepreneurship is not not a small step or some small phase it is a continuous process from the raw material to the dispatch of the product to the customer ultimately if the product is found to be defective you have to give the after sale service also so that's why you it is a continuous process from the raw material plant machinery human resources make the marketing hr recruitment and the process is there in case of entrepreneurship so it is not a full stop it is a continuous process it is cyclic process okay next flexibility based upon the changes in the market condition you have to flexible as entrepreneurs if market demand something if you are not adapting something then you are outdated so to be an entrepreneurs or to be an entrepreneur you have to flexible you have to change yourself according to the need of the market why we are teaching through online the thing is that the scenario got changed people students are there inside their home so in order to give them the knowledge we are choosing the platform online teaching so that's a based upon the market demand we have to the entrepreneur have to supply according to the change in demand their products as well as services so these are the elements we have focused in case of these are the elements we focus in case of entrepreneurship economic and dynamic activity economic means production of valuable goods and services then dynamic means change continuous the innovative activity profit oriented profit potential management management required managing of different aspects that is whether that is financing law accounting marketing hr all management the leadership also required okay whether that is autocratic or democratic then you have to organize different resources into one in your organization so organization building will be there function of risk bearing is there goal oriented is there then value creation is there process it is a continuous process and based upon the change in the market you have to deliver the product according to the need of the hour then classification what are those classification of entrepreneur students there are different kind of classifications are there but the most important classification of entrepreneur are this functional classification this functional classification the first entrepreneurs are innovative entrepreneur some entrepreneur who comes with the latest innovation latest technology where the product reach the market for the first time to the entrepreneur most of the developed countries like us japan germany italy they are coming with the latest technology latest idea for those entrepreneur the product is innovative product and the entrepreneur who can come for the first time the innovative product latest product new product who brings the latest product into into the market they are the innovative entrepreneur most of the developed country we have found we found innovative entrepreneur next one is imitative or adaptive entrepreneur who are imitative and adaptive entrepreneur imitative entrepreneur or adaptive entrepreneurs are most found in the developing countries or under developing under developed countries someone already existed in the innovative entrepreneur simply copying the things simply adapting the things is known as imitative or adaptive entrepreneur whatever the technology is already there you simply adapt such technology as an entrepreneur is known as what everybody adaptive or imitative you simply imitate some other entrepreneurs product 
or technology it's known as what imitated most of the developing country or underdeveloped countries you found this kind of entrepreneur next one is a fabian entrepreneur fabian entrepreneur are very very much skeptical or very much hesitant to adopt any kind of technology until or unless they will face the loss they will not see they will not adopt the latest technology so they wait till they faces the losses so these are the fabian entrepreneur fabian entrepreneur they are very much hesitant to take the technology or to adopt the technology so these are known as fabian entrepreneur they are very much skeptical and very much hesitant to adopt the technology till they face losses next one is drone entrepreneur d r o n e drone entrepreneur are those entrepreneur who are doing the business traditional system traditional methods only even though they face losses they will never adopt latest technology they are the drone d r o n e drone entrepreneur in the exam always fabian entrepreneur is being asked of what are the different types of or functional classification of entrepreneurs are there they ask in the examination so first one is innovative entrepreneur innovative entrepreneur are those we found in the developed countries some entrepreneur who are coming with the latest idea latest knowledge latest technology for the first time into the market are known as innovative entrepreneur after the innovative entrepreneur next one is imitative entrepreneur or adaptive entrepreneur those entrepreneur who simply copy the technology of other countries or the developed country are known as imitative or adaptive entrepreneur next one is fabian entrepreneur who are very much skeptical or very much hesitant to adopt till they face losses they can adopt but they will adopt the technology late and the last one is drone entrepreneur even though they face losses they will never ever and of the latest technology this is all about the classification of the entrepreneur functional classification of entrepreneur thank you